Today I'm hoping to go over the sump and plumbing for the water box 130.4. I would say that this is the piece that I enjoyed doing the most because it's kind of where all the work was done in the preparation and getting to think through and anticipate what you may want in the future rather than having to do more plumbing or placing once the system is up and running. And I definitely could not have done this without the help of many of you YouTube reef experts. And I especially shout out to Reef Dudes for all the speakers on there that both gave me inspiration, motivation, and I got to listen to and while I was doing this work and definitely couldn't have done it without everyone there. So for whatever it's worth my input as a new uh, hobbyist in the saltwater aquarium, some of the pitfalls, some of the enjoyments, and anyone who's interested in a water box. So basically, I kept the plumbing that came with the water box from the overflow, which is on the left um, over here, which is wonderful, super quiet, easy to adjust. On the other hand, with the return, I actually decided that I wanted to hard plumb it. For me, it was mainly for aesthetic purposes rather than for efficiency or simplicity. Because I would say that I'm in this hobby and in general as much for the technical components of plumbing the gadgets as I am for the actual reef. So it's almost like a number of hobbies all in one. And it came into some challenges here because the water box uses the metric system, the European system, the scientific system, I would even say. And then here in the US, we use the imperial system. Why the imperial system exists is beyond me. But whatever the case, that's the reality. So in deciding I wanted to place the manifold, I realized I would have to actually acquire a piece that could convert the metric system into the system here in the United States and couldn't find any parts. I had to go online and was able to buy on AliExpress the piece and I'll, I'll insert a little video here to uh, show you that piece and how it makes that conversion. I'll have a picture here showing what the plumbing that actually comes with the Reef 130.4. But in order to hard plumb my tank to my return, I had to buy this separate piece here, which is the actual part that Waterbox uses. And so I basically got rid of loop plumbing for the return because it comes with a glued in nipple like this. And in order to remove it, you would have to use a heater gun, which does work. It mutates the, the plastic or the PVC here. Uh, so I opted, instead of trying to heat and pull this out, I opted to buy the separate piece like I said, Waterbox comes with the intention of soft plumbing uh, to the return. If you buy the Waterbox uh, 130.4, you will also have an attachment for a small manifold, which also really wasn't to my specification. So I got rid of this and went onto AliExpress and ordered two of these, one for for the likelihood that I mess up the first time. And it, it took about 20 days or so, 15 or less than $15, I think. And so what you have here, really the only piece that you'll need is the part that connects from the bottom inside the, the cabinet to the overflow. And as you'll see, this, this section here is 25 millimeters and our uh, three-quarter inch PVC here uh, is about 27 millimeters. One additional piece that you will need that's fortunately now easily accessible 
on bulk reef supply. I think Saltwater Aquarium maybe sells them as well. And as you can see here, you've got the 25 millimeter, which will attach down in here and to your three quarter inch tubing, which is right here. If you have any questions, just let me know.